What's going on YouTube? Justin right here. Today we're taking a look at Wondershare Demo Creator, which is essentially an all-in-one tool for those of you who want to record your own tutorials or videos for YouTube, want to edit videos and so on. So this allows you to record your screen and create tutorials just like the one you're seeing right now. And of course you can edit the videos instead of using sophisticated or expensive tools like Premiere Pro that I'm using to edit this video. You can do AI voice changing for your videos and you know, have templates, AI features and whatever. There is a free trial available and you can test it. So let's take a look at the program and see what it has to offer. So the Demo Creator 8, this one over here, does provide at first the video recorder, which allows you to record the screen and have screen capture just like the one I'm having right now for this video. And you have the option to get the camera support as well, if you want to also capture your camera. You have audio support and then you have the screen and camera over here. Right, so once you configure it, this is the interface that it has for customizing the screen recorder recording selection so you can select what part of the screen you want to record so I'm going to demonstrate this better with their website let's say I only want to record this portion of the screen or rather this one over here well I can do so by dragging these fields around but then you can also go ahead and just record the entire screen so you can drag these all the way up and in here as well and this will record the full screen at the entire resolution now you can also configure the volume for the microphone over here you have in here the option to select between screen and camera camera and audio but you can disable the camera if you want to you just have to go here to settings and go to webcam and select none in this case and the camera will disappear on the video options you have the frame rate you can choose between 15 frames all the way up to 120 frames per second and on the encoder you have in here the avc h2064 and you have the option to select between high normal or low resolution other settings that you can do is on file in here to say where you want the recordings to be saved and the default whiteboard snap folder and on the general you have a couple of other options so before recording disable the three second count down and during recording auto hide the controls while recording and enable gpu acceleration for recording now after you record with this you can also edit your footage there is a built-in video editor over here so i'm going to open it and show you how it looks like this is the video editor that they have it does contain a lot of effects so pan zoom transitions and you know branding stickers whatever you can import files so i'm going to go ahead and bring a recording right this is a footage that i have from a different tutorial of mine it says in here the imported media file does not match the project so i'm going to go ahead and change the project to be matching and yeah there you go you do have the video over here i'm going to make this bigger and it does have a nice timeline that you can uh, scrub through so you can easily go ahead and uh, see the video in real time if you want to customize for example text over it or you want to see the uh, waveform for audio i'm going to go ahead and go to see the uh, video effects that are available so you have ai portrait have green screen effect blur background mirror border mosaic and so on so there are quite a lot of effects available over here you have the option to add annotations there are a couple of annotations built in but there are also premium ones you can grab from their store and these are actually quite great there are lower thirds available there are also intros available and then you have in here stickers if you want to add them to your uh, video for example the subscribe button a ring the bell button you know thanks for watching stuff you have the borders for the recommended videos at the end if you want to have end card then you have the brand kits over here so you can create like little scenes for your video so depending on what you're doing you might be able to find these useful you might be able to edit them around you have end credits templates available as well these can be useful especially if you have patreon uh, fans and stuff because you do have scrolling end credits text that you can populate with your patreon supporters while your end cards are playing at the same time so these do make the work a little bit easier and then you have the transitions you can have either stick in the transition or have the normal effects like fade flash dissolve and you know, various slideshows whatever on the audio effects you only have a couple of them but they are quite powerful you have AI voice changer or cleaner both of them are available you have AI denoise so if you want to remove noise from the video you can do so AI vocal remover if you want to remove the voice 
from a recording and voice effects. You have a couple of templates as well for gaming, social media topic, news, if you want to get started with using the tool, if you want to edit something to get the grip of the uh, controls of the tool. You also have the record button over here, which will start a screen recording right away. So you can do that directly from the editor. The editor itself, uh, as far as I could see, it scrubs well through the video, it does support even MP4 video properly. You have the aspect ratio controls over here. It's pretty okay for YouTube. You have presets for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, standard and custom. So you can take a screenshot of the uh, current frame that you're in, in the timeline. At the end, the export formats, well, you have the MP4 format, AVI, MOV. So it supports most of the uh, formats, at least most of the common ones. And on the presets, you have a couple of presets for the uh, quality of the video. You have high, middle and normal, but they also do have the option to directly connect to YouTube and upload your video once you're done editing. They also do provide that for TikTok and for Vimeo. So yeah, that's basically it. Wondershare Demo Creator does provide an all-in-one toolkit for those of you who want to get into streaming or into video creation. It does provide a lot of AI related features as is normal for 2025 and it is compatible with both Windows and Mac OS. So if you have any of these, it should work fine. You can check it out. There is a free trial available on democreator.wondershare.com. Thank you for watching. I am GSNow. Peace out.